Good morning. It's baby Matilda. She's been an amazing mommy. Um, they're not even one day old yet because it's only half eight and they were born. Well, they started being born from 10 to 11 yesterday. Um, Mum did the night shift um, and apparently they've been amazing. Matilda's very motherly with things anyway, so she's been very cautious with these. She doesn't really want to leave them for a wee. She has gone out for a few wees, but she runs straight back in because she's very protective. But you're such a good mummy. Are they your babies? They're all doing really well. Not weighed them yet today. We'll weigh them later. Um, <laughs> Lavender's trying to get on top. Fifi's over here snoozing. Agatha, Peaches and Rupert. I'll show you them all properly when you can see the names. Um, we've gone for Roald Dahl characters because obviously she's Matilda. You're a good mummy. You're the best mummy, aren't you? Yeah, you get it from your mummy. So Matilda's Flossie's daughter, for anyone who didn't know. And Flossie's now retired from breeding after she had her four litters. And this is Matilda's second litter. If you go back on my channel, you can see she had a singleton last time. So this is all new for her. She's got five babies. Are they your babies? over 24 hours old now. Uh, oh. Snoozing. Peaches has got a mouth open. Lavender's having a little stretch. Oh. Rupert's here. Agatha's now got a pink colour. So you can tell she's a girly. And Fifi is having a little feed with Mummy. Hey, sweetheart, Matilda's being amazing. We've got some calming uh, music on the pebble just to soothe Tilly while oh, she's feeling nice and relaxed. Have you ever seen anything so cute in all your life? There he is, only boy. So he should be quite a soft boy because that's how it works. If you have more girls, you have more soft boys, and if you have more boys, you have more feisty girls. So, good peaches. <laughs> morning and happy due date. Today is Tuesday and the day that the puppies were actually due but they were born on Saturday. Um, you just like to ring them early don't you Till Till? But Tilly is feeling much better in herself. I think the first couple of days her milk didn't come in too much because she was early and she wouldn't leave the babies and they would never settle. Um, but last night and yesterday afternoon I think a milk fully came in because they completely conked out on the heat mat and she's been out on the sofa. So, all going well. Um, they're not, they were really big puppies, they are not lost any weight or anything, it was just, they weren't settling, they were on the teat 24-7, so we've noticed now that they'll have a big feed like this and then they'll go and sleep. So, she's feeling better about it, she's back to herself, she's happy to get out and sit on the sofa for a little bit. Auntie Matilda, 
um but yeah happy due date babies it's also our big girl maddie's ninth birthday today which is the day they were due um but we all got a different birthday this time didn't they how are you feeling tilly she got excited this morning for a carrot which she hasn't done since that she had them so definitely feeling more back to herself and these wrigglers are so wriggly for their age um but still all good weight um they're all over 300 grams which is quite big considering tilly is only about 10 kilos 9 10 kilos herself yeah old princess are you tired mum did the night shift last night so i'm on night shift tonight have you seen rupert he's like underneath fifi <laughs> and then we've got two tails on this side feeding and three on this side it's so much easier with only five because you don't have to count as many i love this little black girl she's so cute look at that wacky tail i've called her agatha from matilda look at her she's gorgeous so lively for three days old it's amazing this is lavender hello lavender she's a goldie and her nose is going black already this is fifi Another gold girly, but she has a little white tip on her tail and little white toes. But she also, her nose is also going black. Fifi, hello darling. And this is her from the back. They're so big. Really big puppies. So that's Fifi. This is Peaches. She's a little wriggly. And she's a gold girl again and her nose is going dark too when it focuses there we go that's peaches another gold girly and she doesn't have any white really look how strong they are already three days old let's get your little face back in focus little miss there you go little peaches and her nose is also going dark completely black girly it's very hard to focus on her face but she is beautiful. It's because I'm putting her against black. There she is. There's little Agatha. She's so cute. Black girl with a little pink colour. There's Agatha. First pawn. And last but not least, we have Rupert, the only boy. And he's got a little bit of white on his face. He's gold. And he's a little cutie pie. He's going to be a big softie. Look at him with his tongue sticking out. He's definitely going to be a big softy. Look at him, he's absolutely gorgeous. He's going to be a spoilt little boy with all his sisters. And there's them all feeding away with mummy this morning. Look how cute they are.
about nine days old today. I think, yeah, because we wore last Saturday and it's Monday. And look at them. Oh, Agatha's just yawned. They're getting really up on their feet now. See Lavender? Getting right on her tootsies. And they've all got um, black noses now because they were born with pink noses. If you can see here, if it'll focus, the noses have gone black. Um, so that was interesting to know because um, we weren't sure what colour they'd go because our last golds were chocolate golds. Um, so yeah, they're lovely. They're really energetic now. Look at them moving. And they squeak when they can't find Mummy. Where is she, Lavender? Are you going to find her? There's Rupert, Fifi. Fifi's got a like, symmetrical white bit on her face. You can just see how big they are for only one week old. Um, all of the litters were definitely not this big. I want to compare sizes actually to see how big they were compared to Mummy Tilly. Obviously not as big as Tabitha because she was a singleton, but definitely bigger than average. Mama, we have a camera on them there. And we're only in the other room if we ever leave. Um, with the door open so we can hear her. Um, but usually someone's sat in here anyway. Aren't they Tills? Yeah. You've got sleep in your eye, miss. Doing very well. We've got little teddies. We've got a new vet bed in now. We've got a fresh piece. Um, so you could see the gold puppies nicely. We've got some squeakies. Lavender, are you okay? Come here. You want your mummy? There she is. She lost your tails. Here's Agatha and Rupert. Oh, she's having a stretch. And a yawn. Big yawn, big stretch. Oh, she's so bloody cute. Look at Rupert. Go find mummy. Go find mummy peaches. Come on, Rupert. Hey, peaches. Hey, Fifi. It's okay. There we go. All feeding. Ten points if you can spot Agatha. <laughs> She's very difficult to spot. Good girl, Matilda. Good afternoon, Miss Matilda. How you feeling? Here's the little bubbers. They've all got new collars on now because they all got too big for the last ones, if you can see. So the colours have slightly changed. They're all still there somewhere. You do feed in funny positions. Agatha's here. And then there's the four goldies. Getting so much bigger. Look at their tails while they're feeding. Little bum wags. You alright Matilda? She's doing really well. Aren't you? You're eating a lot of food. Keep your babies fed, aren't you, darling? There's Fifi. She's got a little tongue out. Hello, princess. Mummy's cleaning your bottom. Hello, little miss. Do we have walkers this morning? <laughs> Even though it looks like a pancake. Fifi's feeding upside down. Are your eyes opening, miss? Just. Just a see. tiny bit, yeah, I can see. Lavender's first one. Oh dear. First one to walk, first one to open her eyes. Good girl, Peaches. Yeah, they are tiny bit, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's too cute, Fifi. <laughs> oh, they got eyes. No way. Look 
at you two. Oh, they look so cute. You can really see that. Good afternoon from the babies. They are two weeks old tomorrow. And their eyes have started opening, as you saw in the last clip. Um, and they're moving around loads. Two of them have just managed to get over to the camera and knock it over. Um, Fifi and Rupert, uh, which is crazy. Little Agatha's here. Tilly's still being amazing. She doesn't like to leave them for very long, just for a week and straight back in um, because she's very protective. Um, but she isn't bothered if the other dogs come to the gate or anything. She just loves her babies. Focus on the puppy, not me. There she is. Is that not the cutest thing you ever did see? She's just beautiful. She's doubled her weight today as well. Doubled her birth weight. We like to get them to do that before two weeks and they've all doubled, so that's great. They're really enjoying feeding. Um, so two weeks tomorrow, so we'll get worm tomorrow. We'll do panicure, which is two from two weeks. And then we will... The pig rails have come out this morning because they're getting stuck on the pig rails. Um, so they've gone. Um, they were just getting squished underneath them on top of them and she's not going to squish them anymore. So they've come out. But yeah, they're still small enough to not need a bigger pen yet. Um, because they're not up and walking properly. But in the next week, they will be in a pen. Look at you! Oh my goodness! She's chewing a polar bear. <laughs> Mom, she's chewing the polar bear. It's like... <laughs> Hello, Rupert! Are your eyes any more open? Uh, lavenders were a bit more before. Come on, Rupert. <laughs> Hello. Hello, babies. Go on, Lavender. Uh, Look like how fast they are. Well, you got to work out now. Phil. Look. Wow, Agatha. He's so fast. Two weeks old today. This is Fifi. And we're two weeks old today, aren't we, Miss? We've got eyes. You see a little eyes? So beautiful. <laughs>